Welcome back to another video and today we're gonna do some footsteps, footstep sounds on the landscape with the layered blend material. So for today's episode we're gonna need a couple of things. First we're gonna need some sounds for the footsteps. So I have two, I have grass sounds and I have wood sounds. Now, obviously you can use any sounds you like. Uh, I'm just gonna show for these two and you're gonna be probably able to figure out how to do more. So uh, we have this, those sounds. Now, the next thing we need is some kind of a way how we can figure out on which surface we are. And we're gonna go to the project settings for that. Scroll down to the physics section and we're gonna add ourselves some physics surfaces. So we're here, we can put into up to 62 of them and let's go. So I have grass and I have a wood, that's it. So I have those two, if you have more, fill them in. Let's close this off. Now, the next thing that we need is the actual material itself so that we can do some figuring out which surface we are on. So for this, I'm gonna create a material. I'm gonna call this landscape, open this one up. And what is important in this whole setup is that we have layered layer oh my god layer blend i can never find this node it should be at the very top uh, landscape layer blend this one right here so for this node we're going to need to add as many inputs as we have surfaces so in my case i have two of those i have let's call this grass and the other one i have is wood so now you can see we have the grass and wood layers. Now this one can go into the base color and actually we're gonna copy and paste this once more for our normals as well. Now we need some textures obviously for this. So I'm gonna hold T, click four times and I'm gonna get these four nodes right here. Now obviously everything else inside of this material is totally up to you. What does matter is that we have this layered blend. So we're gonna plug in the textures and the normals Let's select the textures. So I'm gonna have the grass, obviously grass layer, and we're gonna have some kind of a wood, oak wood, and then we're gonna have the same for normals, and we have wood. There we go, as simple as that. So now we can save this and go ahead and create ourselves a landscape. So I'm gonna go to the modes, we're gonna go to the landscape, and we're gonna create ourselves a new landscape using this material. Create that, all good. So real quick, let me just remove uh, this thing right here and let's go back to the landscape. Let's click on the paint so that now we have our layers available to us. What we need to do next is create the layer info for them. So we need to click on these plus signs, weight blended layer, and I'm gonna select the default location. Should be good now. Obviously you can put it wherever you like. The default seems to be good next to the maps. Okay, so now we have this green thing. Uh, if it's squared, that means you need to rebuild your lighting. I'm not gonna bother that, but if you do, the lines are gonna go away. So let's go ahead. So we have the grass layer over here and let's paint some wood over here as well. So now it's gonna take a second to compile. And now we have some wood over there, some grass over here. Let's set up the actual noises themselves. So for that, first, uh, let's begin with the third person character. Let's do some logic over there. And what we are going to do over here is add ourselves a new function, call this footsteps. Over here, let's do some calculations. The first thing that we need is we need a thing called line trace by channel. If you don't know what that is, I have a video on my channel about traces. Uh, basically, this is gonna be a line that we're gonna shoot from. So we're gonna get actor location. So essentially our own location where we are located at right now. And then this is gonna be our start point for the trace. And then we're gonna do vector minus vector. And we're gonna do a line 100 units down below. The starting position there we go so now we're gonna do a line trace that will hit the ground most likely and just to see it for now let's go ahead let's enable for duration so that we know it actually does hit the ground from here from the return value we can do an if and we're gonna deal with everything else later first we just got to make sure that this thing actually does fire off and we can see it so uh, let's actually launch this and to launch this i'm going to do this from my animation so i'm going to go to my animations i'm going to look for my run animation now obviously you're going to want to do this for your walking for whenever your jump ends when you land whenever basically your feet touch the ground so we have this animation over here and what we're going to do for this one is we're going to use this timeline and look for 
where he puts his foot down, which is over here. So I'm going to go ahead and in the notifies track, I'm going to right click and I'm going to add a notify and I'm going to add a new notify to this and I'm going to call this footstep. Then let's scroll forward. Let's find till he puts the other leg down, which is roughly over here. So I'm going to right click, add notify. This case, this time I'm going to use skeletal notify because I already have it. So I'm just going to add the same notify. So I'm going to have the same action performed at both of these points in this animation. So now we can go to our animation blueprint and over here in the event graph we can do anim notify footstep event this guy right here so from here what I'm gonna do is cast to the character and I'm going to go ahead and get uh, try get pawn owner this guy here we go and from here, we want to launch our third person event uh, function rather. So this was the footsteps function like this. So whenever we reach that point in the animation, it is going to fire off this function. So let's hit play and let's see what happens. As you can see, I have these lines behind me wherever my feet touch the ground and they have that re red square, which means that it has hit and it is all good. If you don't have it, if it's floating in the air, make sure you do it even lower. So not 100, maybe even more. Okay, so that's out of the way. The next thing that we need is if we have hit something, well, we want to break the hit result because we're going to get some necessary information from this. And also from the out hit, we want to get the surface type. And from this, then we can do a switch and it is going to return us all of our surfaces that we provided in the project settings. Something like this. Now we need to actually create the footstep sounds themselves. So uh, for this, I'm going to do a very basic setup. Now you can do this in arrays or something. Uh, what I'm going to do is do a switch on int. From here, I'm going to do a random int in range. And we're going to plug that into selection. Now I have four sounds, so I'm going to do zero up until three. So I have four options and I'm going to add those four options to the switch as well. And from here, from all of these, I'm going to go ahead and play sound at a location. I'm going to copy and paste this a couple of times. One, one, one. There we go. And this switch now will go into the grass for me, like so. Now let's provide some sounds. So we have grass one, grass two, grass three, and grass four. Something like this. So now let's copy and paste these once more. Plug those into the wood and let's provide wood, wood, the wrong one. Oh my God. Now the last thing left for us to do is actually provide these surfaces themselves to the material because the material at this point doesn't know which surface is which. So what we need to do is first we need to create the physics assets. So we're going to right click, go to the physics and create ourselves a physics material. And we're going to select this physical material as the parent, click select and call this uh, physics material grass. We're going to duplicate this and call this wood. So we're going to open up both of these. There we go. And so let's start with the wood at the very bottom. We have a surface type. So we want to provide that this is wood and all the other parameters for this tutorial does not really matter. We can do the same thing for the grass. Select the surface type to be grass, save that and close it. All good. Now we actually need to provide this info to the landscape itself. So assigning these uh, materials. So I'm going to select the landscape and there's two options. If you know where your things are located, you can locate them or you can go to the modes landscape, click on the paint and then under the layer info, click on the magnifying glass and it's going to bring you to your layers. So we're going to open up both of those now. And inside of these, we just simply need to provide the physics material. So I'm going to do grass for this one since this is the grass layer. And I'm going to do the wood for this one, physics material wood. And now we have successfully assigned it to our material. So we can hit play and timing might be a little bit off in my case, but you can fix your timing by going to your animations and basically moving these footsteps back and forward. And you can decide where it needs to, needs to be. And there we go. We have some grass sound. 
and we have some wood sound. Now, like I said, you can provide as many of these surface types as you want. Well, up to 62, but that should be plenty enough. And yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. If you found this useful, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And I see you in the next one.